large language models and AI assistants are taking the consumer world by storm. But what happens when you try to bring these large language models into business, into enterprise? Well, we have three issues, three issues that we have to overcome. Let's walk through them. Number one issue is this lack of domain knowledge. Remember, these large language models have been trained on publicly available data sets. That means that they don't have access to your SOPs, your standard operating procedures. They don't have access to your own IP, your own records. So they really can't answer a lot of questions and have that response be tailored to your particular business. And you lose a lot of performance and effectiveness because of that. Issue number two is around hallucinations. These models will give you responses. They look really crazy but they're way off and if you run with them then you might have a problem and then issue number three which is becoming a little bit of a less of an issue with search but we have training data cutoff dates so for a while there you had ChatGPT missing months of training data because it hadn't been updated in a while and in part because it takes a lot of compute to train these models so you have these three issues that are keeping you from getting a lot of performance from your LLMs as you bring them in-house. So let's talk about one pattern that has emerged as being particularly helpful here, and that is RAD, Retrieval Augmented Generation. You may have heard this term tossed around, but let's talk about what's going on here. First, let me give you some context. Here's what happens when you send a prompt to your standard AI assistant. So you have your, your prompt, goes into the AI assistant, it generates a response, and then gives it back to you, right? In a RAG implementation, you're adding an additional step here. Before that prompt goes into the AI assistant, we have a search that hits a corpus of data. Now, this is going to be your data, your own documents, and other relevant information that you want to make available to the AI assistant. There's going to be a retrieval that's done, and that context is going to be added in addition to your original prompt. And so the large language model is going to get your prompt and then also any relevant information that was found during this process. And then everything else proceeds the same way. The AI assistant will process that and generate typically a better response for you as a user. So the retrieval here is this retrieval function here where we're grabbing the information. The augmented part here is we're augmenting that to the original prompt. And the generation here is that we're generation generating the same prompt here from the LLM. It turns out that this is a robust, efficient way to tackle these problems that we're seeing with LLMs in industry and business. So I hope that this helps explain the RAG framework. If you have any questions, any comments, if I missed anything, please drop them below. If you're a practitioner and you want to add something to this conversation, please drop that below as well. There are a lot of people that are going to watch this and I'm sure that they would benefit from your expertise and your knowledge. Thanks and talk to you soon.